Welcome back to MapMy. In today's video, we'll be trying to solve an algebraic equation involving three variables. We have x plus y plus z is equal to 4 times the sum of the square root of x minus 5, y minus 4, and z minus 3. From there, we are trying to find the individual value of x, y, and z. The easiest way to deal with questions like this is by way of substitution. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set three variables a to be equal to the square root of x minus 5 and b to be equal to the square root of y minus 4 and c is equal to the square root of z minus 3. From there, if I work on simplifying these equations, I have a square plus 5 is equal to x and b square plus 4 is equal to y and c square plus 3 is equal to z. Now let's go ahead and express the entire original equation in terms of a, b, and c. So on the left hand side, what I have is a square plus 5 plus b square plus 4 plus c square plus 3 is equal to 4 times the sum of a plus b plus c. If I work on um, rearranging this equation, what I have is a square plus b square plus c square and 5 plus 4 plus 3 that will be equivalent to 12 and that's equal to 4a plus 4b plus 4c from there I can move everything to the left hand side so what I have now is a square plus I'm sorry a square it should be a minus here so a square minus 4a plus b square minus 4b plus c square minus 4c plus 12 is equal to 0. From here, I'm trying to factorize this entire expression. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to divide 12 into 3 equal parts of 4. And when I do that, I can rewrite the expression as a square minus 4a plus 4 plus b square minus 4b plus 4 plus c square minus 4c again plus 4 and the right side remains the right hand side remains the same that's equal to 0 and if you look at each individual components every one of them can be factorized into a minus 2 square plus b minus 2 square plus c minus 2 square and again that's equal to 0. When we have three components equal equal to 0, what I, the conclusion that I can draw is a minus 2 is equal to b minus 2 is equal to c minus 2 is equal to 0. In other words, a is equal to b is equal to c is equal to 2. Now that we have established the value of a, b, and c, we can go back and figure out what is the values of x, y, and z. So what I have is x is equal to 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 y is equal to 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 and z is equal to 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 
Let's go ahead and substitute these values into the original equa equation to see whether things work out. So what I have is 9 plus 8 plus 7 is equal to 4 times the sum of 2 plus 2 plus 2. On the right, on the left hand side, I have 9 plus 8 plus 7, which is 24. And on the right hand side, I have 4 times 6, which is equal to 24. So the values that we have calculated is correct. And that's the end of the video for today. I thank you for watching. Have a good day. God bless.